We're asked to find the equation for the parabola that has its focus at 2 comma 3 and has a directrix at x equals negative 6. Let's go ahead and plot the focus. And let's also sketch the directrix at x equals negative 6. Because the directrix is a vertical line and the focus is on the right, we should be able to recognize the parabola will open to the right as pictured in our notes. This indicates the form of the equation is going to be the square of y minus k equals 4p times the quantity x minus h, where h comma k is the vertex, and because the parabola opens to the right, p is positive or greater than zero. So again, we're given the directrix, this vertical line, as well as the focus, this point here inside the parabola. Now recall that the distance from the vertex to the focus will always equal the absolute value of p. It's also the same distance from the vertex to the directrix, which indicates the distance from the directrix to the focus, this distance here, can always be represented by the absolute value of 2p. Now in our case, because p is positive, we could just use 2p, but in general we can always use the absolute value of 2p for the distance from the directrix to the vertex. We'll use this fact to find p, and then once we find p, we will find the vertex, which will then allow us to find the equation of the parabola. Going back to our graph, the distance from the directrix to the focus, this distance here, is equal to the absolute value of 2p. This is a horizontal distance, and therefore we can determine this distance by taking the x-coordinate of the focus, given by 2, and then subtracting negative 6, given by the equation of the directrix. So we have the absolute value of 2p is equal to 2 minus negative 6, which is equal to 8. The absolute value of 2p equals 8. We can divide both sides by 2, which gives us the absolute value of p equals 4. Algebraically, we have p equals 4, or p equals negative 4. But in our case, because the parabola opens towards the positive x-axis, we know p is going to be positive. We now know p is 4. So this green distance here is equal to eight units. This also indicates that the vertex is going to be four units to the left of the focus, and therefore the vertex will be the point two minus four comma three. Notice I'm subtracting four from the x-coordinate of the focus because I know that the vertex is going to be to the left of the focus. Simplifying, we have the vertex is the ordered pair negative two comma three. So now we know p equals four, h equals two, and k equals three. We can now find the equation of the parabola. Before we do this though, let's go ahead and plot the vertex on the coordinate plane and sketch the parabola. Negative two comma three is this point here. Notice how it is halfway between the focus and the directrix. And again, the parabola must open to the right and look something like this. And now let's go ahead and find the equation, which we know is in the form, the square of y minus k equals 4p times the quantity x minus h. Well, the square of y minus k is going to be the square of y minus 3 equals 4p gives us 4 times 4, and then times the quantity x minus h gives us x minus negative 2. Simplifying one last time, we have the square of y minus three is equal to 16 times the quantity x plus two. I hope you found this helpful.